Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Hawks. So today we'll be learning how to wrap text inside an envelope. So let's get started. So this is what we are going to study today. Take a new document and start typing some text. Now you can click either here or you can go to effect, graph and select any option. So let's start from the first option. Turn on the preview. So these are the default settings and you can turn on the preview and see the output. You can make changes over here. So as you change the values over here, you will see the output. So this is the vertical distortion, then the horizontal distortion we have seen and we have also seen the bend. Similarly you can do it vertically also. Let's make it 0 and let's make this also 0. Now let's go to vertical. We are selecting the second option. Now we are going to decrease the bend or you can increase the bend. So this is the output you will get and if you click on horizontal distortion you will get something like this in case of vertical distortion you will get something like this okay so this was the first option now let's check the other option keep the default values over here so that you can see another option let's select arc lower in this case when we select horizontal and you can increase the bend or you can decrease so this is the output you will get similarly you can check the distortion let's make this zero and here you can see the distortion Next you can select arc upper. So this is the output you get. Then you can select the distortion. Okay, so this is arc upper. Now it's not that you can do this only with text. You can do the same thing using any shape also. Suppose if I select this rectangle and if I go to effect, graph and if I select any other option and turn on the preview, you will see the same envelope will be applied to uh, the shape also. So you can select the bend, you can give distortion, horizontal, vertical. Okay, so this is about arc. Now let's see another option. Now we'll see bulge. In case of bulge, turn on the preview. So this is the output you get. Sometimes we want to create some typographic effects for some poster or some flyers. That time you can use these effects. Similarly, you can do with vertical also. You can select the vertical option. And same thing you can do with the vertical option also. You can see this mesh. You can edit this mesh also later on. Suppose if you like this effect and you want a few changes over here, you can click on OK and then you can select direct selection tool 
and click on one of the anchor points and then you can edit this so like this you can edit the anchor points if you know how to use pen tool then this is really easy for you if you do not know how to use the pen tool i have already done detailed tutorial you can check the link in the card above so like this you can edit the text also so let's see the another option let's check another option shell lower horizontal turn on the preview this is shell lower you can do the horizontal distortion or vertical distortion also you can turn on this option vertical and you can see this is the vertical distortion Let's make this zero. So this is vertical distortion, and we want the bend to be negative. Then we will do something like this. And of course, you can edit this mesh if you want to make even more changes. Okay, so this is shell lower. Now let's check another option. Shell upper. This is just going to be the opposite of what we have done earlier. Okay. So this is the output we get. Next, we'll see flag. Flag, as the name suggests, it looks like a flag. So you can enter value over here, and if you want horizontal distortion, or if you want vertical distortion, that you can see. You see that. It will be output something like this. Let's check another option. Do it. Let's click on horizontal. Turn on the preview. You will see the options over here. So from here also you can make the changes. This is the horizontal distortion, vertical distortion. Then we can select fish. This looks like a fish. From here also you can make changes. And now we we'll select rise. Turn on the preview. So this is the output we get in this case. Then you can select vertical option also. Next we have fish eye. Turn on the preview. This is fish eye. After that you have few more, one is inflate, turn on the preview, this is inflate, then you have squeeze and then you have twist. So these are the various options 
and just to summarize these are the options with the default settings though you can do your own settings and you can get a different output with the default values you have this output so hope you must have liked the video see you in the next video and do not forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching